Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, we are in one of my favorite places to deer hunt on earth. We are in South Texas. Specifically, we're on a family friend's property in Eagle Pass, Texas, about five miles from the border. It is about 2,000 acres of prime deer hunting property, and this place is loaded. The owner wants us to take out mature eight points, anything in the four to five year old range. We just got here. It's 1.30. At 3.30, we're gonna go for our first sit of the trip. Um, I'm going to a little box blind that sits in the middle of an intersection of so many game trails. Um, so yeah, we're going to go throw on some camo in a second and um, corn the roads and head out to the blind. Y'all stay tuned. <music> stay here till dark and um just finished cornering the roads and um i can pretty much shoot all around me it's fairly clear except for the door so um we're gonna be sitting here for a while y'all stay tuned uh, i think we're gonna see some stuff tonight so y'all stay tuned guys we recovered the deer this is exactly what we came here for a big mature south texas eight point um he's got some good mass to him it's about a handful he's real wide and i couldn't be happier with him he's got the standard features he's got the big belly he's got the big neck and he's got this flat inclined nose which is exactly what you look for in a mature deer if i were to age him I would say he's close to five, maybe four. Y'all can tell me if I'm wrong in the comments, but that's that's how I see him. Um, so we're going to load him up here in a second. We're going to head back up to camp. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all in the kitchen. Stay tuned because um, we just got ourselves a South Texas A point. Hey guys, we're back home. We got back from South Texas a couple days ago. Took a little break, edited the hunting video, and I just want to apologize now i did not get nearly as much footage as i thought i would but um like i said we went there for management deer we went there to go shoot call bucks old mature eight points and that's what happened 
five minutes after we sat down in the blind. It's just in South Texas, the population is so dense full of deer. That's exactly what walked out and I had to pull the trigger. <laughs> that bugger was the biggest deer I have ever shot body wise. He was huge. He was a pain to drag through the brush. I can tell you that now. And he's even bigger a person. The camera did not do him justice. Um, he was a heavy eight point. I got a European mount, but I just wanna apologize now that I didn't get nearly as much footage as I thought I would. That whole hunt seemed a lot shorter than it was. But um, now that that's out of the way, we're gonna do some cooking. We're gonna cook some back straps. So um, y'all stay tuned. All right, let's do some cooking today. We're gonna do some gear back strap in the pan. So I'm gonna heat this up now. Get it really hot. We're going for a quick sear just to get it a good crust on the outside. Then we're gonna throw it back in there some, with some butter and try to baste it and uh, finish it off on the inside. So first thing we're gonna do, get a little olive oil. Spray it down. Not too much, just to cover it so that seasoning sticks. Rub it in, flip it over. Just like that. Then all we're gonna do is fairly simple. We're just gonna do a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder. This sounds pretty simple, but it turns out pretty good. So we're just gonna do a little salt. Flip it over. That's good. A little garlic or black pepper. <laughs> and then last, we're gonna now go with the garlic. Um, and yeah, this is. We're gonna wait for that to heat up. And we're gonna sear it and. Um, we're gonna start actually cooking it. Now that it's all seasoned up and the pan is hot as hell, we're gonna throw this thing on and get a quick sear. Just like this, we're gonna try to get a nice crust on it with that high heat before we flip it over and then um, take it off, lower the heat, throw some butter on it and finish the inside. Got a good crust on it now, so we're gonna flip it. You can already see the heat working its way up and cooking the sides a little bit just like that perfect all right so now that it's done searing we're gonna take it off it's got a good crust on it now that it's done searing and it's a little bit smaller because it shrank we're gonna finish it off in the cast iron on a low heat now that it's warmed up we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in there to prevent the butter from burning just a little bit that's good We're gonna put some butter in there. Just like that. And once that melts down, we're gonna put the back strap in so it can finish off cooking. I'm gonna finish it off cooking in this and it's gonna turn out real good. We're trying to go for a medium rare on the inside because there's not a lot of fat in here and it'll dry out if you have it any more than that. What you want to do now is grab a pop of it and get this in and just pour that butter and stuff on top of it. You're gonna do that for about a minute, flip it, then do it again on the other side for about a minute. You're gonna do that one or two times and at that point, it should be done and you can start eating. We've had it on there for about a minute. So now we're going to flip it. Oh, yeah. Just like that. The back strap is looking amazing and it looks just about done. So we're going to take it off and let it rest for about 5 10 minutes. Let it cook all the way through and um, we'll cut her open and see how we did. All right guys, I've been letting it sit for about five, 10 minutes. We're gonna cut into it now, because it should be done. Let's see, and we're looking for a nice pink inside. Oh yeah, we did pretty good guys, I would say. That's a little over medium rare, but it's still gonna be good. I'm gonna give you all a one out of 10 for backstrap. Pretty good.
Mm. For deer backstrap, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. For how old of a deer it was, it's really, really tender. There's no game whatsoever because I cut majority of the fat and the silver skin off. And um, it's cooked really good. So um, I recommend this to anybody who's just getting into deer hunting. It's really easy to cook. I'm no expert chef by any means, but even I can get medium rare on it. So I would recommend it. I would say it's an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Alright guys, I finished the rest of the deer off camera because I'm... Um, pretty sure y'all didn't want to see that but um overall it was a really good trip i had a whole lot of fun i got a deer my uncle got a deer and so did his dad all management call books like we went down there for i have no complaints about this trip again i wish i got more on film for y'all but um i hope y'all enjoyed and i appreciate you sticking through to the end if you did so um yeah thank y'all for watching and um stay tuned for the next episode